Look at this tower, folks. It's literally like seven feet in diameter by almost three feet wide. This thing is massive. And after seeing this tower, all I can think about is shoving as many of my buddies as we can into this thing, rolling down a hill, and then taking the crown for best tire rolling down a hill video. Okay, I'm working on cutting it down a little bit so we have less sidewall. Since the sidewall really tapers in a ton and gets really tight there. So once I cut it around here, it should be a lot wider. It's not gonna be like pinching our shoulders. And also, it's gonna remove a lot of weight so that if or when we fall over sideways, the weight of the tire doesn't crush us. So that'll be preferable, I think. The nice thing about this tire was that the sidewall did not have any metal strands like most tires do. It was more of a fabric Kevlar material which allowed my chainsaw to cut through it without too much of an issue. I still burned through like three new chains and a gallon of gas to get through the tire, but that was still way better than trying to cut it with a sawzall or something else. Now this tire did already have a big hole punched in its sidewall, so it was never going to be able to hold air again which made it the perfect candidate to use as a tire to transport you and your friends from the top of a mountain to the bottom. Now when I was cutting, sometimes the smoke from the burning rubber would be bellowing too much to where I'd have to step away for a sec and get a deep breath of fresh air before I could go back onto cutting the tire. It was also nice that the tire sidewall already had this indent line right where I wanted to cut, so I could follow it with the chainsaw and make a perfectly circular cut. The tire did retain most of its rigidity even with the missing sidewall, however after adding the metal framework I made later in this video, the tire became rock solid and super strong. After all the rubber cutting, I took it to the pressure washer to clean out any dirt and rubber shavings that were left behind, so then we'd have a clean base to work off of from there. Made a mess. It's a lot of rubber. Okay, I got some tube, so the plan is to roll this into a ring. And that's what we'll bolt the bucket seats to and also give the tires some extra rigidity. Well, now we just run this thing back and forth like 12 times. This video has a lot of time lapses of the build process, so during these sections I figured instead of playing some music over this, I'd narrate some more behind the scenes of the development of this tire. Because if some of you were super observant, you may have noticed that the tire actually existed all the way back to last November in a YouTube video I posted on taking my truck on paddle tires to the dunes, as well as a 5-ton military truck on dual tires on all the axles. Now on that trip we did roll down one hill with the tire, however the stock Polaris seat frames that I used in the tire bent, so we only got to use it for one run that day. So I took it back to the shop and heavily reinforced the seats so that wouldn't happen again, so that we could go back on a second trip and get a bunch more content with the tire. However, at this point, old Heavy D Sparks and Diesel Dave got interested in joining us in riding in the tire, so I figured I'd wait on them to join us since having them give a shout out for my tire could be beneficial as well with how my tire video could perform. Now originally when I had gone to the dunes, a park ranger gave me some drama over filming on public lands without a permit, which ended up not being an issue because I was in the right with being able to do anything I was planning on doing that day. Uh, There's a lawsuit on this a uh, couple years ago that ended up siding with content creators, so I was in the clear that day. So, But nevertheless, with the size of Dave's channel and his interest in making a video of a dunes trip as well, he figured it'd be best for him to get a permit anyways. At this point it was winter and cold, so I was okay with delaying the tire video until after winter. But once spring came around, I would bug Dave every so often about if he was ready for our dunes trip. And he'd always say he was still waiting to hear back from Bureau of Land Management with regards to permitting and whatnot, and that the process was just going really slow. So that cycle continued on for many months. However, also during that time, my buddy Eric Reading filmed a short clip of the tire parked at the shop and posted it on his TikTok and Instagram. Now, I wasn't necessarily ready to share the tire with the public at that time, but since his videos would only get a couple hundred views apiece, I didn't really care if he posted it on his social media. But go figure, his video went viral and got 8 million views on TikTok and over 2 million views on Instagram. And everybody in the comments section was very impatient with wanting to see the tire roll down the hill now. Although I was still trying to wait on Dave's schedule so I could do the tire with him. 
So a bit more time passed by and I realized I was being dumb waiting on Dave all this time and that it wasn't going to be worth waiting to have him involved in the video to have him give a shout out for my tire vid, especially if the YouTube algorithm may treat the tire well on its own, like TikTok and Instagram did. So he finally did the trip without Dave. I still want to express a ton of gratitude for Dave because he still let us use his army trucks to move the tire around and having access to those trucks were awesome for this application. So I'm happy to say that the tire roll video will finally be posted this next Sunday on August 21st and I'm really excited for you guys to hopefully enjoy it. Look at that, smart okay. guy. Oh, you say I'm an idiot all the time. It's a smart guy with, smart guy with dumb decisions. <laughs> with dumb decisions, yeah. Okay, I have my ring all built up, with four seat mounts in it. It unbolts in three spots. So we'll go unbolt it and put each of the three pieces in and then re-bolt it inside the tire. And hopefully that works out easy. Okay, I have the pieces partially in here. Still gotta get this part up to there. And I'm using this port of power to separate that. baby it's all coming together seats are bolted in harnesses are bolted up go be pretty comfy go be a fun ride Oh my gosh, oh. you're stressing me out, dude.